with that being said, I wanted to get your thoughts right away on the inauguration. Kyle, I'll start with you because you and I, uh, we, you asked Dr. Fauci a question on our show on Monday. And I, Bakari and I were like, ooh, yeah. the question was so big and so powerful and so thoughtful. Uh, I have to ask you, the past four years, considering who you are, the players you played with before in the league, and where we are right now, what have you learned about America? Uh, I would say as a white man, I have learned a lot about America. Um, you know, I think you take a word like white supremacy and that's like a whoa word for a white man, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I, can, if I want to say that. But then you, you, you think about what that really is, right? That's not necessarily saying it's a white supremacist. When I think of white supremacist, I think of, you know, someone, uh, you know, the KKK. I think of, um, you know, guys in guns and boots, extremists, right? But what I've come to learn is that white supremacy, it's, it's an ideology. It's, it's, it's this idea that it's, it's that somehow white America, white Americans that, that we're somehow, we have more value, mm -hmm. um, that, that we deserve better protection. And, and that's what I have learned these last four years, right? That this is a real thing and that this has been laced inside of all of our institutions, inside of our systems. And it's been laced so intricately that as a white man, I couldn't see it. Mm. And so when I finally did see it, I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> how do I be a part of helping? I, I'm, I'm not for, this is not who I want to be. I want to be for people. And so just coming to that understanding has put me on a new path, right? Of, 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 of trying to continue to learn and to continue to try to remove my blind spots, to continue to try to be a better friend, a better teammate. Um, it's, been a, it's been a hard bunch of years for me. It's been a lot of reflection and, and, and having to look myself in the mirror and say, who do I really want to be? That's powerful. I mean, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to go after that, Kyle, because that level of introspection is something that we need more people to have, you know, that level of self-awareness. For me, it was about hope mm -hmm. um, because it's been very difficult for uh, many people to find some semblance of hope throughout those dark days. People say joy cometh in the morning. My grandmother, you know how old folks sometimes say stuff that don't make a whole lot of sense when <laughs> yeah. you get a certain age? <laughs> Uh, my grandmother used to say that you can't, you can't fall wait off. till I'm that age. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she would say whatever she, I want. <laughs> she would say she would say you can't fall off the floor, and it's a phrase mm. that didn't make a lot of sense uh, to me at the time. But now there's so many of us. There's so many groups of individuals who feel like they've been knocked down, and you realize the only way you get up is to get up together. And yesterday's moments it, it gave me a renewed sense of hope, a renewed sense of purpose. We've had some dark times as a country. I mean, whether or not you're talking about 1955 and Emmett Till whether or not you're talking about April 4th of 68 with uh, Dr. King, whether or not you're talking about my good friend Clemente Pinckney in a church in Mother Emanuel Amy Church in 2015 being gunned down by Dylan Roof, whether or not you're talking about George Floyd. We've had some very difficult times in this country. Um, but yesterday, I learned from a 22-year-old young lady mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, America is just not finished. Yeah. Um, and we have to reimagine what it should be. Uh, we learned from... Uh, Kamala Davy Harris, um, that little brown girls around the world could be absolutely anything they want to be. Um, there have been 49 now vice presidents, and one of them looks a little different than mm -hmm. the other 48. And so having two daughters myself, having them be able to understand that moment, yesterday meant so much. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the peaceful transfer of power. I think that, you know, from a, a very political sense, we learned that you know, democracy is fragile. Mm -hmm. People watching the news, cable news, kind of on edge. People were watching yesterday on edge. We have more mm -hmm. troops in Washington, D.C. than Iraq and Afghanistan mm -hmm. combined. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a mind blowing statistic. So people are on edge, but yet democracy prevailed. Sure. And so um, I just think that we live in a community um, where a lot of people confuse uh, patriotism with prejudice. Mm -hmm. And we have to do a better job people like Kyle and myself of utilizing these platforms, Carrie, utilizing these platforms, as you said, and funneling this energy to a group of young people who can reimagine what this country should be. Kyle said something uh, very powerful, and, what, and, and it goes in right in lockstep with what you said. Um, 
white supremacy is so intricately laced into these institutions that you don't even know it exists. Um, and when you say those words, those words are so um, threatening and, mm -hmm. and, and polarizing and, and, and people don't want to embrace it um, and even understand what it is because there is an emotional commitment to ignorance. When you can give someone facts and figures and they say, nope, I still believe what I believe, that works both ways, right? Uh -huh. It works both ways. Works for me, works for you, and you as well. Uh, but as we look ahead and we move forward and try to, I don't necessarily mean get back on track, we'll use Amanda's words, reimagine what our America can be. I, I'm curious because I think that we know that a, you know, a new administration doesn't mean all is well. Oh, exactly. So. So let's talk about the challenge and perhaps the, uh, the demand to hold this current administration uh, accountable for things that we would like to see. I mean, I, that, that's perfect, and I think, it, I think it fits while we're all here together. I mean, that's a perfect segue because voting is just the front door to democracy. Hmm. Now you're there, and you have to hold people accountable. My fear is that um, athletes, myself, many others, are going to get comfortable. Um, you know, election's over, now we can get back to our daily lives, and that's not the case. Like, you still have to use your platform for voting rights. You still need to be working on the very, I, I, one of the things that your team did last year, that the Bucks did last year so well, was they worked with state and local government to implement changes on that level, not waiting on what was happening in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. And so we can't get complacent. I mean, just because you cast a ballot doesn't mean that it's over, and you know, regardless of who you voted for. I mean, if you're celebrating today or you were one of the 74 million people who are upset that your guy didn't win, you still have to play a part in this democracy because mm -hmm. it's participatory. And I want everyone who is, you know, was, was proclaiming that they're not going to just shut up and dribble. I want them to still be active tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Kyle, is that their responsibility? Is it a responsibility of the athlete to be active? Um, I think it's an opportunity. I, I think that um, it can be. I, I, I know there's many guys who are very comfortable stepping into this, and this is what they want to do. And if that's the case, that's awesome. Um, I, I think the real question is, like, what is being a good citizen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? And is being a good citizen, does that mean, like, not saying anything and just letting the powers that be keep on going? Mm -hmm. Being a good citizen means speaking up. Me, being a good citizen means holding people accountable, right? Like, and, and, and as athletes, we have a way to do that. We have a platform. We have a collective voice that has been shown that it is powerful. Mm -hmm. It is strong. Now, with that, there's a responsibility to use it the right way. Um, but I, I, think, I think guys want to walk into this well, uh, girls too, obviously. Um, I, th I think athletes...